everyone, Kathy Myron here, CEO of eSilo, and today's tech tip is a review of the security settings in Dropbox. Um, so what we're going to do is if you log into your Dropbox account and you go over to the upper right hand corner and you click on your profile picture, it gives you an opportunity to select settings. When you get to the settings menu under secu the security tab, you'll have a couple of options. The first is to take the security checkup and it's very basic. I actually just went through it a minute ago. Um, and what it'll ask you is to confirm your email address, um, verify any devices and browsers that have recently connected to or logged into your Dropbox account, review any linked apps like Microsoft Office 365 or other apps for which you've granted Dropbox permissions, and then it'll give you an opportunity to change your password if you wanted to select one that's more complex. So we won't go through all of those steps here, but I just wanted to point out what that security checkup actually does. Um, over here, what, uh, we, what you really wanna do is turn on two-step verification. Um, so this is also known as multi-factor authentication. And what it requires is that you have more than one factor to verify your identity every time you log into Dropbox. So that's usually a combination of something you know, which is your password, with something you have, which is a security code or a security key. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Yep, there we go. So it, it asks if we want to confirm to verification to add extra protection to our account. Um, and it will require that every time we log in on a new device, we'll have to enter the password as well as our security code. So we wanna go ahead and get started next since I do have my password saved. And then it gives you two options. You can either receive that security code through a text message, um, similar to what your bank might do or some other websites, or to use a mobile app. The more secure and preferred way is to use a mobile app. Um, it will require you to have an authenticator app, like one by um, Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator. Um, a lot of password managers also have their own authenticator. Um, but we're going to go ahead and select this option because it is more secure than a text message. And the reason for that is that text messages are sent unencrypted, so they're easier to be intercepted by third parties. Um, and there are some very sophisticated um, hacks where um, criminals can compromise your cell phone number and actually switch your provider um, away from your current carrier um, so that they can actually take over your account and view all of your messages. So um, that's more complex than what we're talking about today. Um, just know that if you're ever given an option, you always wanna go for the one with an authenticator app. Now go ahead and click next. And then it presents us with this QR code. So I use Google Authenticator. Um, and if I open up the Authenticator app, you can download it from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Um, when you open it up, you'll have the option to add um, a new site for two-step verification. And all you do is you click the Add button and you select the option that says, I have a barcode or QR code. And you hold your phone in front of the, um, in front of the QR code that's visible through the, with the camera. And the Authenticator app will automatically recognize um, this QR code and prompt you to click a link to go to a website to add this to your authenticator. Um, so it makes the process super easy. Um, so once you've done that and added this to your um, authenticator, you can click next. Now, if you don't have or don't know how to scan the barcode, you can enter this long key manually by typing that into um, your authenticator app. It'll give you the option of um, add a new site using the key. Um, but because it is so long and complex, it's just easier to, to go with the QR code option. So we'll click next, oh, and actually I should probably do it while we're doing this video on my phone so that then when I click next on my phone, which you can't see right now, I do have a new code for Dropbox. These codes change every 60 seconds or so. Um, but that is how you then can verify um, 